As U.S. soldiers keep intercepting Houthi attacks like this one in the Red Sea, News from Jax is checking in on how the ongoing conflict could impact our local supply chain. And we've confirmed at least two vessels headed to Jacksport have been canceled. And attacks are causing the Suez Canal, a major shipping lane, to be dangerous. Today, I took a look at how the conflict thousands of miles away could impact Jacksport. Conflict in the Middle East is having a global ripple effect in trade and shipping as the Houthis, a group in Yemen, continues to attack ships moving through the Suez Canal, a major route for transporting goods around the world. I'll start with a status update on the uh, Panama and Suez Canals. Back in the United States, the conflict and its local impact were discussed during a Jacksport board meeting last month with Chief Commercial Officer Robert Peake. Today, Peake, who has worked for Jacksport 29 years, talked one-on-one -on -one with me about the conflict and its ripple effect on global trade. Seven percent of Jacksport's container traffic moves through the Suez Canal. Does it have a local impact on Jack's port in a direct or indirect way, and if so, how? Well, most of the impact really has been a disruption to ship schedules, uh, not only in Jacksonville, but also just around the world. And to give you some perspective, Jack's port averages about 130 vessels a month. Two vessels that were set to arrive at Jack's port and along the East Coast in January have been canceled. The attacks on vessels are widespread. The United States military says the Houthis have launched missiles attacking any type of ship or any kind or size that is attempting to move through the Suez Canal. For the ships that haven't canceled, those are being rerouted. Peak discussed the alternative routes ships from around the world are taking to avoid the conflict, going south around the coast of Africa, increasing sailing time to nearly two more weeks. Jacksport has had minimal impact because 85% of its business is diversified in other areas that are not impacted by the Suez Canal conflict. The port is the largest container port in Florida and the third busiest port in the United States for automobiles. However, the Houthi attacks and danger of traveling the Suez Canal still has a major impact on business worldwide. If someone's waiting to receive goods, for example, and then the ship is delayed, well, they've got to adjust for that. You might have a warehouse that's waiting inventory or or a factory that's waiting on a part so they can finish making a product so it could be an impact across many different types of, of industries from manufacturing to distribution to transportation though the impact has remained minimal for Jack's port peak believes it's important for the public to pay attention to how this impacts everyone in addition to the Suez Canal, the Panama Canal shipping route is currently impacted due to drought and also an El Nino from last year. Regarding the conflict in Yemen, commercial team remains in close contact with the ocean carriers and terminal operators to accommodate any changes in their schedules. And today, Hamas replied to a proposal aimed at securing the release of the remaining hostages in Gaza and a sustained ceasefire with Israel. Qatar's prime minister has been, who has been rather helping mediate negotiations, said today Hamas's reaction to the latest plan was generally positive. He did not provide any details on the response other than that, but did say Hamas had some comments on the plan.